People look at you strange saying you changed like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. Welcome to episode 92 of Boxing in the Basement. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I did cop a couple of new kicks, but they really weren't good enough for me to actually do a review on. I wasn't really pleased with them, to be honest. I did not want to let you guys down. So with that being said, Boxing in the Basement, episode 92, B-I-T-B-T-T-G. Boxes in the Basement, Train to Go Edition. This is the Nike GT Cut, Nike Greater Than. I know I've been doing a couple of reviews on it. I've been dibbling and dabbling, but I wanted to do an exclusive one on this one. It's not going to be as long. I did want to put some content out there. A couple of my homies that hoop with me and on their own. And we compare sneakers and what's working for us and what's not, you know, when we on a phone or when we see each other. Shout out to everyone that dropped me a comment on YouTube. I dropped my other platforms. I no longer have my social media. It used to be Emart302 and Instagram. Some other ones, I don't have that platform anymore. So as of right now, this is the only social media platform that I'm using. I've been uploading shorts just to get more of my performance in there, a couple skill development drills that I do. I'm gonna get those YouTube shorts out there so that I can give you guys a glimpse as to the wear and tear and the rigor that I put these through. Catch, step, the shot. Catch, step. So this is my go-to right now. Like, like I said, it gives me that Kyrie low, Kyrie nostalgia, that Kobe nostalgia. And De'Aaron Fox was the first ones that I've seen with this. And then other ones, you know, Kay Cunningham played in it uh, this past year. That being said, there's a lot of professionals using it. And if it's their go-to and it's my go-to, then I know that it works. But to each his own, because you never know what may work for you may not work for someone else. I just had to let you guys know that this is what I'm going with right now. One of my friends has an AU team there the last couple of weeks, got up and down the floor. You know, this was the sneaker that I wore, the GT Cut 2, the first week, and then the GT Cut 1, the white Ghost Editions. This is the Black Crimson, but I wore them. And I was just kind of comparing like what actually worked, what actually didn't work. I was more pleased with this one than the two. And let me tell you why. The sizing, these are true to size. So many sneakers come out and it's you could get your size, you could not get your size. And I didn't want to play that guessing game, those mind games and all that. So I didn't want to do that. So I said, look, if I know this works and I order it, it's going to come in, it's going to fit me. I don't have to send it back. I don't have to sell, I don't have to do all that. So the sizing, the durability of it, the sole is thick. And like I said, the integral details I'm not going to get into, but these ones has premium technology that lasts all of the little talking pieces that I used before is the lateral movement, the containment, the ankle protection, the heel cup, the toe box air, all that. It, it checks all those points, the breathability, the sustainability, all that. So that's why I went with that. Like I said, I, I'm a fan of the low top. So I went with that. Once again, the only difference, which I did in my comparison that I don't like as much as the two, the only thing is the toe box air as far as I like this toe box better, but the material, because the GT Cut 2 is one panel. So when you look in here, it's just one panel and that gives me more comfort. Whereas this gives you more flexibility, but because it has a stitching in there, it gives me a sort of discomfort, not enough for me to not want the shoe, but just to nod the two over the one. But every other category, these are it. I got the translucent sole on the other ones. This is like a darker translucent, even though you can kind of still see through that. This seems like it'd be more durable compared to the clear. But in this, I just think the black is going to last longer. And what I actually did was I forgot to spray the water repellent. Right? So it did get a little dirty, the white ones. And I had to clean them. I sprayed them with water repellent. And I'm going to wear those few and far in between because, you know, three, four hundred dollars shoes resell. Uh, price. I don't want to get them too dirty. So I might grab another pair of these just so I can have one in the tub. The Nike GT Cut, Black Crimson, Greater Than GT line from Nike. There are some other ones I play in. There are some ones I worked out in. I did a lot of shorts on. So go into the channel, watch some of the videos. Everybody that's been rocking with me that have been supporting the channel, I appreciate you. And we're going to grow. It's just a slow turn right now because you know March Madness hit end of the season, they start to pump out the sneakers that everybody wants to hit, but I'm, I don't want to get the quick hitters. I want to just make sure that I get something that I enjoy that's going to give me the nostalgia that I like, the needs met, and we're going to go from there. So like I said, pass on a couple of them, but wasn't going to pass on them. Episode 92, Box in the Basement. Take care of y'all.